In this video, I'm going to show you how to put text and titles behind objects in Filmora 10. Hey everyone, it's Elliot from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Placing text and titles behind an object is one of the most common ways to create an interesting opening. An eye-catching opening will add more value and attract more viewers to your videos. It's an easy effect and I'm going to show you two ways to put text behind object in Filmora 10. Before I start, I need to make sure that the video footage I'm using for this effect are static and the objects can be easily masked out using the masking feature in Filmora 10. I'll take this video of buildings in the media library as the example today. This video is a static landscape video. The shape of the building in the middle can be masked out easily too. Now drag and drop the building video onto the timeline. Next, let's create a basic text from the titles panel. I'll choose this title from under the plain text section. Drag and drop the selected title onto the second video track. Double click on the title on the timeline to activate the settings panel on the top left. I'll type hello world in the text box here as an example. Double click on the text clip on the timeline, go to the animation tab in the settings window, select right roll and click on OK. Then play back to see how it looks. Since the text is above the video on the timeline, we can see that the text is moving on top of the video in the viewer too. But don't worry about how it looks now because with a few more steps, we will see the text behind the building. Drag and drop another building video from the media library onto the third video track, lining up with the building video on the first video track. To make the later steps easier, I'll hide the building video on the first video track now by clicking on the eye icon on the left of the timeline. This will make it easier to see the mass edges in the next step. Go to the effects panel on the top left, find the utility section, and then drag and drop the image mass onto the building video on the third track. Then I will choose this shape here as it fits the shape of the building that I chose to stay in front of the text. Adjust the scale and position of the mask until it only reviews the building in the middle. Now we could click on the eye icon on the first track to show the video on the bottom. The text should now move behind the building. Let's check how it looks. The next method I'm going to show you will work well for videos with high contrast and a clean background. Here's a footage in the media library. The silhouette of the person, as it is in high contrast, can be the subject in front of the text. Drag and drop the video onto the first video track on the timeline. Choose and drop an ideal title to the second video track. I'll click on the title clip on the timeline and adjust as needed in the settings window on the top left. I'll type in hello world again as the title here. Now, hide the video on the first track and then take a snapshot of just the title with the camera icon here. I will then delete the title in track 2 and put the snapshot of the text on the track above the clip. Double click on the text snapshot and find the compositing section from the video settings window on the top left. Change the blending mode to overlay and then unhide the video in track 1. The text, hello world should be behind the person's silhouette now. Let's play back and check the result. All right, those are two ways to put text and titles behind objects. Do you have more creative opening ideas that you would like to share with us? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and keep creating. Make sure the video footage used for this before I start, I need to make sure the video footage used for this effect are static and that 